3D Get Stuff Turkey Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, today's video is going to be all about turkeys. To start with, the nail itself is a turkey and it says Get Stuff to continue my pun theme that I've kind of been going back and forth and doing puns all year and I've been enjoying them so much I figured I would do it for Thanksgiving as well. Also, I thought I'd show you my little turkey. Melody has a turkey suit because, of course, everybody needs a turkey suit for Thanksgiving. This was actually my turkey hat that I wore every Thanksgiving like a nerd. But I decided I'd cut it up and make a little turkey suit for her, so she likes it. I hope you guys like it as much as we do, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to start with for the nail, I'm going to begin with a overlay of a cover pink acrylic. Whenever I'm doing something that has like kind of like muted brown tones, earthy tones, I like to do a cover pink background just because I think it kind of disappears and isn't too distracting. And then I'm going to encase the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that it is nice and strong and won't break or crack or, you know, do any of that funky stuff and will stay on the nail properly. Then I'm going to be filing this into shape with my e-file, starting out with a pretty coarse bit to remove any bulk. This also works out really well. I love to use that bit just because it contours the nail beautifully and then i use a finer bit just to get rid of any scratches that that first one may have left behind so now i'm going to be making my little 3d turkey near the tip of the nail so that i have plenty of space to write around the cuticle area so i took and i'm going to make some petal shapes with orange acrylic all going towards a center point so you want that center point to be a little bit up from the tip of the nail so you have room to make your turkey's body I made five of these little tail feathers that are orange. My orange acrylic that I'm using is the very first color of acrylic that I bought. I know I've mentioned this before, but it's a little bit different texture than most of them. It actually holds any 3D shape you put into it, so it doesn't self-level at all, which sometimes is good and sometimes is weird, but for my little feathers, it definitely you can see like in every little brush stroke in them, which I think is funny. Then between all of those little orange feathers, I'm going to be making yellow feathers. So now after I have my tail feathers all done, I'm going to take some bronze acrylic and make my little turkey's body you obviously can just use some brown acrylic if you don't have bronze but I like the little shininess that bronze does and then I added a little bit of red on his head and a little orange beak so now with some black paint I'm going to be painting get stuffed above the turkey so I went back and forth with my puns because when it comes to me I've always got a couple puns in the back of my mind they just everyone's so here's something about me that people don't know I randomly think of puns just ones that I've heard before or whatever and I will just burst out laughing because frankly I'm a weirdo and I think they're hilarious and so all of a sudden I'll just be eating dinner and I'll start just cracking up laughing because I think of something and then usually people look at me like I've lost my mind because I just start bursting out laughing I don't know I have these things just rolling around in my head so the pun that I went with obviously is get stuffed another one that I thought of or that I have seen I didn't actually think of it unfortunately because that would be better but that I have seen is uh gobble till you wobble and I thought that one was funny so you know there's pun options you can switch it up if you'd like after I have my get stuffed written above my turkey I'm going to take and I'm going to outline my turkey with plenty of black lines I want him to be very easy to see plus when you're doing this you need to add his eyeballs and if you'd like you can add a couple little lines on his feathers just to make him a little bit more detailed and I gave him some legs he does need legs so don't forget that so just keep going through and adding your little outlines so to add my little details on my feathers I took and I made a line going straight through each one and then a v-shape so it's not too much detail on there but just something to make them a little bit more interesting than just those patches of color and then I'm gonna add little white dots for reflections in my turkey's eyes and then I'm gonna take some really nice shiny metallic gold paint and add little highlights on the feathers just to make them a bit, a bit more sparkly and kind of shine a little bit and then also taking that really shiny metallic gold paint I'm going to fill in the letters of get so that's why I painted those initially a little bit with thicker lines and a bit more bold then apply a layer of gel sealer over your background it's really going to make that metallic shine and then some matte top coat over your 3d turkey and that is it i think this little guy is adorable i hope you guys like him as much as i do and please share any recreations with me on facebook or instagram i'd love to see them and i will see you in my next video bye